Welcome to DeFi Crypto Today. Our topic today is DeFi Kingdoms on the Harmony Network. I made a video about this a long time ago, several months ago when it just started. And at that time, uh, all we had were uh, basically liquidity pools with uh, super high APRs. And they're still very high, although they're uh, programmed to lower the AP uh, APRs uh, gradually over time. So be aware of that before you uh, use them. The APRs are still super high, but they are programmed to go lower and lower and lower week after week. So eventually, they're going to be a lot uh, lower than they are now. Now, DeFi Kingdom is on Harmony. It's, uh, Harmony is relatively young. Uh, blockchain so not a lot of people are on it so today we're going to spend a little bit of time showing you how to get on Harmony if you want to play uh, DeFi Kingdom. DeFi Kingdom right now is a lot more than it was when I made my first video. Now there's some characters in, in there, there's some new pages uh, on the map and uh, you can buy some heroes and they can perform some, uh, how do you call them? I'm going to say task, but that's not the right word. We'll, we're going to see uh, when, once we get inside. And you can earn some jewel tokens and other things. Uh, and there's a ton of documentation to read, a ton of documentation to read. It's uh, becoming more and more elaborate by the day. Okay, so if you like gaming and you want to make money, uh, this is one of those uh, play to earn games that are available. Okay, so it makes, uh, it's, uh, it's Gamify, you know, it's uh, uh, DeFi and game uh, put together, uh, which is uh, interesting. So we're going to try some uh, stuff that I never tried uh, yet. So we're going to try to buy a hero and have it uh, perform some uh, tasks to try to earn some jewel or whatever. So we're going to experiment on this video today. But first, uh, let's talk about uh, Harmony and how we can get our hands on some, uh, some tokens, okay? So, um, first thing is, typically, you're going to need to join a centralized exchange or a SEX, right? The one that I like right now, I'm on Binance also. I love Binance. The problem with Binance is that many times when you buy the token and you want to send it to the correct network, it won't let you. So if you buy the one token on Binance right now, chances are if you try to withdraw from your Binance account and you want to send it to your MetaMask on uh, Harmony, they're going to say, oh, no, we, sorry, we don't allow that. Uh, you have to uh, go through Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain. Okay, Binance Smart Chain is a lot cheaper than Ethereum, but you still got to pay a fair amount of gas. Plus, you need to bridge after from Binance to Harmony. I'm going to show you also how to do that. So um, my recommendation, okay, and it's up to you. You can do what you want, but I would use a, a centralized exchange like gate.io that allows you to send the token directly to the right place without having to bridge and pay gas five times, okay? So uh, this is my account, and if we go to withdraw, uh, I'm just going to show you how it's done. I'm not going to perform it myself. Come on, withdraw. And by the way, some people were asking me, is this a reliable gateway? Okay, if you missed it, let's go back. Forbes magazine says it's one of the best crypto exchanges of 2021. So it's not that bad, right? So let's go back to withdraw. Uh, yeah, I had that question yesterday. Oh, I don't trust this one. It looks and the interface looks weird. Okay, maybe it looks weird. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, if you want to uh, sign up at Gate, there's a link in the description below. Full disclosure, it's an affiliate link. So if you want to encourage my channel, Gate will send me a little bit of money if you join. It's not going to cost you anything. It's not going to cost you anything. Anyway, so let's assume that uh, we bought some, on, uh, some one token. The one token is from Harmony One. Okay, and it's right here. All right. Okay, so 
we could send the one token. We have to select the network. And it's going to say, are you sure you I want to send it to the Harmony? Yes. And here, uh, that's where you would put your MetaMask wallet address if you're set up for Harmony. If you're not set up for Harmony, let's do that now. So um, all the links for this stuff are in the description below. So don't worry. Got you covered. So this is a, a nice place that helps you set up your MetaMask for almost any conceivable chain that exists in the universe. So if we type Harmony. Okay, so as you can see, there's several Harmony mainnet shards. Okay, typically we take shard zero. So we connect wallet and then we click add to MetaMask and it should provide us with all the information that we need right here. So we close and we approve this. So we're adding it. And yes, yes. Okay, so as you can see, there's uh, four different shards, okay, for Harmony mainnet. Don't use the, the test nets, okay, use the mainnet. And typically what you do is you take shard zero. I haven't tried the other shards, but it works on shard zero. <laughs> So we click this, add to MetaMask, and it's going to give us all the information. Like I already added it, but basically you're gonna have a, a small screen that shows all the data that you need to add Harmony to your uh, MetaMask wallet. So right now I'm, all I'm gonna do is switch network. Okay. And if I look inside, I already have some one tokens, okay, that I, bought before because well i've been using uh harmony for uh, a little while but if you're just starting you're going it's going to be zero okay and you need to put some uh tokens in there so the best place to go is through a centralized exchange like gate that i just showed you or binance or whatever and uh, then you send the tokens over now personally i think gate does a best the best job because typically it doesn't block any of those networks. You take the token and you send it directly to the right network. So if you want to go a Harmony, you buy your one token, you send it to Harmony. If you uh, want to go on Avalanche, you buy your AVAX, you send it to Avalanche directly. Okay, it, it, it seems to be working with almost all the, the, the most important chains that I know of. Okay, and that's why I really like gate.io. I've been on Binance for a long, long time and I like Binance, but Binance typically restricts me to uh, two networks, Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain. Sometimes they allow Avalanche, sometimes they allow Phantom and whatever, but it, it's not consistent. At gate.io, it's consistent, okay? Typically, I have no problem, okay? All right, so let's say you have... Uh, money on other networks like Binance Smart Chain, for instance, and you want to send it over. Well, there's a bridge. Uh, Harmony has a bridge. The link is in the description. So this one allows you to switch to send uh, tokens over to Harmony, either from Ethereum or Binance. So if you're Binance and check also the tokens, you can send change, prepare uh, ahead of time. So if you're on Ethereum, you can send over these tokens. If you're on Binance, you can send over these tokens. Now, if you're on Binance, for instance, and you got BUSD or whatever, right now you cannot send BUSD, right? So what you do is you go to Pancake Swap, and you buy yourself some one tokens, okay? And then you transfer them over. Uh, sending one uh, over, bridging, uh, over is usually the easiest thing, okay? Because once you have the one token and you're uh, on Harmony, it's easy to swap that token for anything else you want, okay? So typically that's the token I use for uh, uh, bridging, okay? So the, uh, it, it is very easy to use. I'm not gonna perform it right now. Uh, you just follow the steps. Okay, uh, typically it works. Okay, and also if you happen to be on Terra, 
and you want to send to uh, Harmony, so you go to Terra, connect Terra, and then you can send to Harmony as well. So if you got some uh, UST, yeah, UST would work. Okay, uh, not a UST, regular UST. Yeah, UST, you can find UST on Harmony Network, but make sure you already have some one tokens because you need to pay gas, okay? So first you need to have one tokens on your har uh, wallet in Harmony, okay? But you could transfer a UST after that to Harmony and make whatever investment you want to make. So those are two of the best bridges uh, to send money over, all right? Now, one thing that uh, we are going to show you is the Jewel token, which is the native token for DeFi Kingdom, okay? It's been going up and up and up and up quite a bit recently. So I want you to be careful. <laughs> Every time I see something go up like straight up, like parabolic like this, I'm like, uh, is it gonna tank tomorrow? With my luck, it always does, right? So be aware of that. The token's been going up quite a bit. What's good? There are many good things about DeFi Kingdom. First of all, it's huge now. There's like a billion dollars in there. Okay, it's massive. Okay, it's, to my knowledge, the most successful project uh, protocol on Harmony at the moment. Because in, in the developing team keeps expanding the project and making, uh, adding characters and things uh, you can do and so on and so forth. Okay, we're going to explore that in a minute. But I want you to be aware that the token has been going up a lot. And that worries me because when it goes up too fast, I think it's going to tank at some point. Okay, so again, don't put all your eggs in the same basket just in case this thing crashes. Be careful. All right, so you're going to get a world map. Okay, and this map keeps on expanding. So there's going to be a lot of stuff in there at some point. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I already accumulated some uh, jewels here. Um, <clears throat> I, I want to say uh, uh, something, okay, that uh, is very fantastic, is that my initial investment was only $100. Uh, when DeFi Kingdom started uh, back in June, uh, not June, June, September, I just put in $100 uh, in there, and DPY was fantastic, it was like $20 thousand percent or something and I just left it there and at some point I, I waited until there was enough money and I was able to get back my original hundred and I was able to get uh, ten times my original hundred that I managed to take out now the way it works at uh, DeFi Kingdom is that you cannot uh, take out all your earnings at once you're allowed a certain percentage that percentage increases over time and the rest is frozen uh, for several months. I believe um, uh, that, uh, see here, it says lock by, uh, balance. Th that balance is locked uh, till July, I think, of uh, 2022. So, but if you look at the, the value here, I don't know if you can see that, it says $18,000. So I put in a hundred. I took out about a thousand, give or take. And I still have $18,000 worth of jewel tokens in there. Of course, the price of the jewel token could tank tomorrow. Okay. But still, okay, I just put in a hundred. So if you were lucky enough to deposit some cash uh, or very early in this game, you, 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 you made quite a bit of bundle, uh, money here. Okay. So that, that, that's fun already. Now let's look at uh, what we can do in here. So there's a little menu and let's start with the garden. That's where the, uh, the money is made. So you have these cute little characters here. Okay. And we've got our uh, got cute little rabbits coming. So we've got the seed box, which is basically the LP pools. Now those that uh, I invested in are here, this one and this one. So I did not put a lot of money in there. But uh, as you can see, it started accumulating yesterday in preparation for this video. I took out uh, the jewels. Okay, I wanted to see how, how many jewels I needed to buy a hero character, which we're going to do today. And I needed quite a bit more than uh, the rewards I, uh, that they gave me. So 
But see, since yesterday, I made seven dollars uh, on on this, and it's a tiny investment that I made. But still, look, the AP, uh, APR. This is APR, not APY. Uh, it's still five hundred thirty-eight percent. It's still huge. You can still make quite a bit of money, but be aware that most of your rewards are going to be locked. So you get about a third, give or take. Okay. You get about a third of your rewards that you can withdraw at any time. The rest is locked and it's going to appear here. And you're going to be able to start getting some of those, but they're vested over a year. So it starts around July, I think. And then you can take out a little bit every month after that. They're doing this because they don't want the price of the jewel token to tank, which is, I think is, is okay. But you have to be patient if you want to get your earnings. So they have a lot of pools here. You can, you know, invest whatever you want. All right. So if you wanted to harvest, you click on this, you can view the harvest and uh, you can decide if you want to harvest or not. I'm not going to do it now because I did it yesterday. Okay, what's next in the, uh, in the menu? We have the marketplace. So, uh, you got a trader. So, if you've got coins of uh, other, other coins that you want to trade, then you want to buy some jewel because you need jewel in this game to uh, perform anything. So, you could trade your one token, you could trade uh, any of these. Okay, there's a ton of tokens you could trade. And you can buy yourself some nice uh, jewel tokens, okay, like this one. So right now I've got 35.5 point uh, something uh, jewels, okay, which should, uh, according to yesterday's rate, should be enough to buy me uh, one of those heroes that uh, they had on sale yesterday. So it's like a slave market. I don't know. <laughs> so be aware of that. Okay, if you don't like uh, that kind of stuff, uh, don't do it. Uh, so, anyway, you, they allow you to buy people, but they're NFTs, so does it count? I don't know. You be the judge. All right, so you have the Druid. Uh, this guy allows you to create uh, liqu liquidity uh, pairs, okay, and break them. Uh, in my case, I have some um, that are earning me seeds, right? So, and you've got the vendor guy. So if you have items you want to buy, you buy them from here. Okay, you can buy all these gadgets. Or if your hero collects items, you can sell them to this guy. Okay, so I don't have anything right now because uh, I didn't buy a hero yet and my hero didn't do anything yet. So once they do something, maybe I can collect some stuff and I can uh, sell it to this vendor guy. All right. What's next? We got the bank. Okay, that's where they put the gold apparently. Anyway, so you got uh, the teller and you can deposit your jewel to get some X jewel that are gonna give you some yield of some kind. What, what, what are you gonna give us? You can unlock everything. Uh, there's no withdrawal fees, so that's nice. So I could, you could deposit. If you got extra uh, jewel tokens you don't know what to do with, you can deposit them here. And yeah, you, you get some rewards. It doesn't say exactly how much. And uh, what's this guy do again? So this is just basic information. We're going to see that today. All right. So we have the tavern. That's where you're, we're going to find our heroes. Okay, this is the agent. Okay, and this is where we can buy our heroes, sell our heroes, you can list a hero for hire. So let's say you got uh, you buy uh, you bought yourself some heroes and you want them to earn something. You can uh, rent them, essentially. And uh, you can look at recently sold and recently hired heroes. So. Let's try to buy a hero. That's the whole point of this right now. I want to try that. I've never done it. Um, okay, so as you can see, uh, each uh, hero has some values here. 
there's like summon stamina and what's the other one xp xp i think is experience um this guy doesn't have much does it this one is better but its stamina is a bit low okay and this one is a bit more stamina what do we have here okay this one has a lot of stamina what do we have I'm trying to find somebody who's balanced a little bit, but I don't want to spend too much either. Um, what do we have here? Okay, to make sure I'm not overspending. How many uh, do I have? I think I have 35, 36. Come on. Uh, I need to add a token. Let me add a token. So let's, uh, whoops, right here. Let me add a token to MetaMask. I'm using a, a, a different browser. That's why this wallet doesn't show everything. Okay, so I added the token. Okay, I've got what, how many? 35.6 jewels. Okay. So we go back here. So we have to make sure we don't overspend. So it has to be 35 or less. So which one do we want? I want people with stamina so they can perform tasks. Okay, these two have sta a lot of stamina, but not much experience. All right. I don't know. First time I'm trying it. So let's see if we can buy this guy. It's for sale. So. Can we buy them or not? Uh, these buttons are so small. Hero details, flip, or flip card. So we have his details, professions. Mining is coming. Mining will, um, I remember I've got my locked jewels. When mining is available, uh, uh, we'll be able to collect uh, to find some jewels in the mines okay and that's going to reduce my balance of locked jewels which so i'll be able to do uh, play with my jewels and do what i want with it uh, <laughs> okay so um strength whatever vitality etc this one looks all right so let's approve let's buy them to scar whatever that is so that's his name i guess i don't know okay claim so basically we're buying an nft like this that's what our heroes are supposed to be they're nfts and we're supposed to be able to use them okay all right uh, i just hit the button okay let's confirm pending can i see or not ah finally it's moving Okay, we did approve and now we're bidding. Yeah, so we have to hit twice. The first time we have to approve. Okay, so I think we got it. If we look at jewels, yes, we have uh, just 0 0.7 something jewels. Perfect. Okay. Now I want to see where it appears. Showing 100 euros by price, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so where are our heroes okay so i'm supposed to have a hero somewhere <laughs> where where's my hero okay so um let's look at the, the rest of the stuff this is where we can um ask our hero to do something so uh, there's a portal and here's a summoner so there's a ton of stuff uh, you can do on this. Visit the arch Druid to obtain summoning crystals. So we have to pay for that. So I'm not summoning anything. I don't have enough uh, jewels. This guy, the arch uh, Druid, uh, allows you to... Uh, basically, you pay the guy, he infuses a crystal with some powers, then you can use those crystals to perform some uh, summoning uh, of something. I haven't done that yet, so we're not talking about that in this video. Maybe another uh, f uh, future video. 
Okay, professions. I think that's where we can make our guy work and do something. Okay, so I believe we can use we can use him to fish. So we can start a quest. Oh yeah, that that that's what uh, I wanted to say. The tasks that your hero uh, can perform are called quests. Okay, so this is uh, Fisher Tom, and uh, we can start a quest and get some fish, I guess. And what about this? Uh, the mine is coming soon. Okay, and once it's opening, we could probably unlock some of those jewels that are locked here. And what's this guy? Foraging. We could start a quest and forge. Oh yeah, remember uh, when we saw the the vendor? He had like magic potions and uh, poisons and whatever. So we could start a quest here and get uh, some stuff with this guy as well. And then we've got the gardener and that's coming soon. So we have a choice between this guy and this guy. So do we want fish or do we want poison to kill people with? Uh, <laughs> All right, I don't know. Let, let, let's see. Let's try to uh, get poison. Okay, description. Okay. You look like you've got a keen eye and an observant mind. Why not have a look through the forest and see what you can find? So, base duration 20 seconds, stamina 7, 5 for heroes with foraging. Require hero range between 1 and 6 heroes. Okay. So, what do I do? I put my hero here. Okay, that's my hero. All right. So, how do I add the guy? Select hero. All right. Let's do that. One. Okay, begin quest. Okay, let's see what happens. How much does it cost? It costs a little bit of one. Okay, um, there was a timer here, and it took... Um, about a minute or so. Uh, now we have to complete the quest, I think. Let's try it out. Let's see what we got for our quest. MetaMask can wake up. There we go. Confirm. Okay, what happened? Quest complete. Forging skills increased by 0.4. So 64 XPs. All right. So, Woods Venerum, uh, this is exactly what you have to search for in the shady spot as well. Dark, try without sunshine, blah, blah, blah. Oh, look at the shimmering. Gaia's love is impacting the world today. Heroes coming, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, it looks like I ma uh, we managed to get uh, three items. And maybe we can sell those things. I don't know. So, le let's try that. So, let's go to the um, marketplace. Got the vendor right here. And let's see if we can sell him some gadgets. Yeah, we got three gadgets to sell. So one, two, oh, okay, it goes one by one. All right, so select the item uh, you got in your inventory that you want to f sell for gold. So we're getting a different token. You'll always uh, get a fair price. Well, as long as we get a fair price, I'm, we're good, right? So. <laughs> Proof. <laughs> so we're getting some gold, people. All right. Well, at least the gas is cheap on, on Harmony. And we're going to try to sell these other gadgets. I don't know what this one is blue. Gives more money? I don't know. There's a lot of documentation in there. Uh, if You need to read quite a bit of stuff. I didn't read all of it. Just uh, little bits here and there. Oh, now we have to sell it. Okay, so it has to be approved first, and then we sell it for five gold. Okay, firm. What do we can do with the gold, though? Just buy more crap? I don't know. I don't know. I want to see if I can uh, sell the rest. What is this thing? Oh, maybe those are the fabulous uh, tears of Ga uh, Gaia. I think that's what it is. Oh, it's dark weed. Okay. What about this gadget? What is that? Ah, I can only select one at a time. All right, next, approve contract. So we have to approve every single item. Yeah. That's a lot of clicks, folks. This one I might keep if that's uh, what they call the Tears of Gaia. We can use them for something else, I think. Ugh, why do you have to make these games so complicated? I just want to make money, you know? 
Okay, sell for 10 gold. Yes, sell it. Yes, 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 confirm. So right now I've got 5 gold, I'm gonna get 10 more gold, so that's 15, I think. Yes, 15 gold. Alright, I don't know what we can do with this. This one, I just want to know what it is. I'm not gonna sell if it's the tears of something. Okay, why it won't take... Uh, I cannot sell this. Apparently not. Okay, good enough. We got this. Item shop, buy items. So I guess if we want to buy items, we need gold. Wow, these are not cheap. We need to collect a ton of shit, huh? Eh? Uh, <laughs> to buy any of these gadgets. Wow. Okay. Because I've got only 15 gold. I don't think I can buy myself a sandwich with this. Okay. All right. So, um, I want to try another quest while we're here. Professions. Yeah, let's go there first. and see what we can do. So, uh, there's the fisher guy. So, we can start the quest. Maybe we can get some fish. I don't know. Okay. Oh, and we could earn jewels. Well, maybe that's more profitable. Let's see if we can uh, begin a quest or not. Okay. Can we select that hero? Right now, it's not letting me uh, add that hero, is it? No, not enough stamina. Ah, that's the problem. We used a lot of stamina to find the stuff uh, in the previous quest. So, um, I guess the stamina grows back at some point. I don't know how it works. Yeah. So right now I only have one hero. And uh, he doesn't have any stamina left. So I can't do another quest. Okay, so... Um, well, that gives you an idea of some of the stuff you can do here. Now if we look at the rest, the docks... It looks pretty and everything, but all it is is uh, it's a bridge. Okay, you click here, and it brings you to the any swap bridge, like that. And any swap changes its name now to multi chain something or other. So anyway, uh, if you want to bridge tokens over, you can use that as well. Although personally, I prefer. The, the two bridges that I showed you earlier, the, uh, the Terra Bridge and the Harmony Bridge, they, in my opinion, they work better for Harmony. Okay, in my opinion. But that's their default bridge. And uh, there's a meditation circle. I forget what that does. Can we bring our token guy here? Okay, Gaia is life. Life is change. All rebirth requires death. Uh, to have been uh, blah, 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 connected to our past selves and have not past selves. Great mystery of identity. Okay, let's try this. What is this? Oh, you want to increase your hero level? Is that what you do? All right, let's try it. I don't know. Can I do that or it needs more stamina? Not enough experience. Oh, okay. So once we have enough experience, we could do this. It's the experience too low. All right, so now we know. And what else? There's the alchemist. What does the alchemist do? Nothing yet. Uh, all I saw is that this guy, okay, uh, at some point makes a potion and it explodes in his face. I think we're gonna see that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's all I can do at the moment. <laughs> okay, and that, that, that's about it. So, a highly, I think it's the documentation, is it? So, you got uh, a bunch of stuff. You got their Twitter, Discord, uh, Telegram, Reddit, everything is here. So, uh, there's a ton of documentation. You should definitely read it because the game gets more and more complicated by the day. They keep adding new stuff. I heard there were some airdrops. I don't even know what I need to do for airdrops. Uh, maybe that's coming for another video. But anyway, I wanted to give you a, a look at, at DeFi Kingdom because a lot of stuff have changed since my previous video. So you can buy yourself some heroes and you can uh, send your heroes on quests, but it costs a ton of jewels. All right. 
so uh, but the APRs are really good okay just remember that uh, about two-thirds of your jewel earnings uh, are going to be locked up till July at least okay maybe longer so be aware of that okay so that's it for this video if you like this kind of stuff please like and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell download the free book all you have to do is put your name your email address and hit the submit button then you get a big button that says download the free book and if you miss that button we're sending you an email with another button that says download the free book if you don't want a free book you pay 5.99 to jeff bezos at amazon and jeff will send me a whole dollar see you <laughs>